G'day and welcome to the Cogmind Alpha. It has finally arrived. Kizradi, uh, or Josh Gee, has been hard at work uh, creating uh, Cogmind for us. So let's fire it up. Now I know there's a few videos that are already available at the moment. But let's just let this play out. All right, we're in. So um, there are already quite a few videos uh, out there that are explaining sort of how to play the game and, and do you know, all the bits and pieces. I like to play in keyboard mode these days, um, but I figured what I'd do is like a little bit of a video to help people out to kind of get straight into the game. Um, normally this opens up to a tutorial when you first open up the game, but in this particular case... Um, because I've played a few times, this is now the standard opening. So if I click X and use the numpad, have a look at what we've got here. We've got a wheel. Um, so you'll end up having a wheel, you have treads, you'll have legs. Um, you'll want to pick up one of these engines as well. Uh, and it looks like we've got some lasers today. A pulse gun and a small laser. Uh, now these use up a lot of power when you're firing. They also generate a lot of heat. So in this case, we're going to definitely pick up the ion engine. Um, light ion engines are normally good enough, but when you've only got when you've only got uh, weapons that use, um, I'll show you the stats on this one here. When you've only got weapons, and let's put keyboard back on so I can show you. Um, when you've got weapons that only use energy to shoot. Um, you'll find that your energy will run out really quickly when you get into a bit of a firefight. So the ion engine uh, gives you a little bit more power. It doesn't give you more power per turn, but it actually stores a lot more power. And that's kind of important when you're uh, trying to defeat people in a firefight. This stuff here, that's the matter. Um, you need that whenever you change weapons and, uh, and when you shoot ballistic weapons. That you can chew through that pretty quickly uh, let's get some legs in here and there's another one chuck that in so the way I'm just popping these straight in is by hitting A um, if you hit G so let's do that on a wheel well actually let's pop this in small laser mm, don't really want that we'll pop that out um, so G um, if you want to pop stuff straight into your um, inventory you just hit G and it'll go in there but if you hit A it'll put it into an available slot in your um, in your section up here so let's get out of back into keyboard mode a good thing to do um, so what I don't have at the moment are utilities uh, a little trick to do is destroy a few guys in here um, and fill out your utilities the more stuff that you're using the more your core is protected and um, you will find you'll lose more items as you get shot but the main thing you're worried about is your core integrity. If that goes down to zero, it's all over. So let's see what we can do. Um, so with a bit of luck, tractor beam, nah, not so good, but we'll pick it up anyway. Um, tractor beam just means I will start sucking up the matter that's nearby. Uh, if you hit shift and the letter there, you can see here, automatically collects matter within a range um, not particularly useful but it gives me a little bit of coverage you can see that I don't have too much exposed now but uh, let's kill some of these tunnelers as well I'll get out of mouse mode and just tab through to hit these guys there we go uh, improved terrain scanner that just means stuff will scan around me uh, it may not come up very well on YouTube but I'm sitting in one spot at the moment and it's slowly scanning all the area around me um, I've changed the settings as well so that if I go over a um, the exit it doesn't make me go straight away I find that's a bit easier uh, you will find it sort of just under settings um, in here somewhere let me check on mouse mode so I can show you where it is um, so yeah, in so this is in advanced settings, and no, it's not in advanced settings. I think it's under options. 
so this is all your stats and stuff in here so general audio interface so tactical hut on i recommend you turn that on uh it gives you a bit more information up in your um up here for your uh energy and your matter and your heat increase and your speed i think it gives a bit more the information is a little bit clearer in my opinion um I've also turned on auto activation parts, which means if I pop something into my inventory, it'll um, power up straight away um, and auto ascend. That's the one for the uh, the stairs. So yeah, let's head on up and see what we can do. Alrighty. So I'll just turn off back to keyboard mode again. So heat sinks. Heat sinks are your friend, especially if you are using energy weapons they generate a lot of heat and you just need to make sure you get those in there part of the troubles people have in this game and just with a few of the videos and things i've noticed is that you've really got to use um the terrain really to your advantage uh being out in the open sort of say out in here is no good using doors and things like that or just inside doors is a really good idea these watches they don't tend to do too much um unless they send out a distress signal. At this early stage of the game, um, they're not too big a deal. Um, they're hard to hit though, so I'll try and hit this guy, but I can't guarantee I'll kill him. Oh, there we go, not bad. Um, hover unit, uh, let's see what else we've got here. Sensor array, they're good. Uh, these low level ones though, they only scan for a short period, so I wouldn't really bother with those just yet. Light origin, um, let's drop this wheel um, I will keep the heavier ion engines just for the extra space and the for the energy and I will pick up that hover unit just in case um, but this stuff I mean it's good stuff basically what you can do is essentially a stealth thing and you can see where everybody is these T's these are terminals I'm still getting the hang of these um, on the forums uh, uh, bloat name Biomatter has put together a massive um, chunk of information about... Uh, let's pop the keyboard mode on so we can see what we're doing. Um, has created heaps of different stuff for the manual command. You can do schematics for just about anything. And in fact, I want to try one out. He's done, I think... I haven't got the wiki open yet but let's see if I can get the biomechanical wings this is a late game item and it looks like it's working so we'll try and enter it in again so to get it come back up again I just put in Z command and tap up on the um, up arrow and we're not getting it yet come on it's, it's possible that it's actually too hard for me to get but as you keep failing um, it'll eventually lock out the terminal and you can see here that I am, I've been detected. There's been a trace. If there's anyone nearby, they'll be on the way. So let's see how we go. We'll see what happens. Scanalyzer. What this does is it allows me to scan items in my inventory. So I can actually go a to insert part, it'll select things that are down in my inventory, down the bottom, and down the bottom right there. Uh, so let's insert our hover unit, because they're always a good thing to have, and B to scan. And I've just damaged it during analysis, but that's, I guess, how it rolls. Uh, we will also scan... No, nah, we won't scan anything else, I'm not too keen on that. Let's keep moving. Another terminal, oop. Technician. Low. So I've been here once, so now my familiar familiarity with it is low. So it actually makes it so what I'm trying to do with it will become easier. There's other information in there. So there's prototype ID bank. I can sort of randomly pick up a prototype. So I'm going to hit E and see if we can get some. All right, so I've downloaded the prototype ID for advanced beam cannon. So when I see it in the game... Instead of being a random um, prototype sitting on the ground, and I have to try it on to uh, see how it works. It'll now give me the information. So that technician, they're not too bad, but what he's doing, and I can see, 
up here there's another terminal that's going to be there he's rushing off to actually stop me from being able to access that terminal if i can hit him which i'm pretty unlikely at this range it's possible for me to stop him from doing that hmm what did i kill there i did kill the technician there's another one here we might just try ah now we've got a mercenary okay so this is where you have to start thinking about where you're putting yourself um, in the line of fire. Good thing to do is look at how fast you're walking. Um, because I've got the, the HUD changed to sort of show not a percentage, I can see how much of a turn um, goes by every time I move a slot. So I know just from instinct or from playing a little bit uh, that I'm probably moving maybe just a touch slower than this guy over here. Yeah, he's 100% and 100. So he's moving slightly faster than me. If he's in a big group, where I'm sitting now is not a good place to be. So I'm actually going to pull back. Let's see if he comes around the corner. All right. So he's on his way. I'm going to wait in here and I'm tapping five to wait. Oh, and we found ourselves a secret spot. Is he going to... Ah, it looks like he didn't see me as I went around the corner. So I'm going to go this way now. Weapon shielding. That's pretty good. I might as well drop this hover unit as well. Ooh, okay. Pests come in groups. They are pretty frustrating. They are also really fast. Um, so if we have a look here and check him out. Um, we can see there that he's actually flying at uh, 30. So... If, I move at 115, so basically every time I move one square, he can move about three or four squares, and which is significantly faster than me. But because I know he's going to be in a group, I'm actually going to pull back, get covered a little bit by the wall there so he can't hit me. And here comes the group. So I'm actually going to sit here and wait for them because I like this corridor. I like what's happening. And I'm just going to keep shooting the guys in front of me. What this is doing is actually stopping them from being able to all shoot me at once and just makes life a little bit easier. I can see a bunch of flight units. Do I want to be going that fast? I think I probably do. Oop, I've hit the window button. My mistake. Um, so I like flight units. I reckon they're bloody brilliant. So let's grab those. Um, let's drop this leg let's chuck in this flight unit we're still moving slow but that's because we are only using one flight unit and we're a little bit slow on the ground but now we're moving at 80 which is a bit better not fabulous but not too bad i'm actually going to pick up this other flight unit as well chuck it in my back pocket and usually they only have light yeah light assault rifles at this stage um so Mm, don't really need that, so let's keep moving along. Core heat shield, that's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to keep moving this way. Ah, there's the, another guy. Another swarmer, let's wait for him. Wait until he comes through the door. And he's down, easy peasy. How's this light iron engine? No, a bit damaged. We'll leave that, I'll leave that be. So in these earlier levels, um, it um, it's relatively easy. Most guys you can actually um, destroy. The weapons that I've actually got, though, are pretty good for this low level. Um, they're still only at a rating of one. Uh, you can see that in the fourth little thing there. But you can see down the bottom they do a damage of 12 to 13 for the medium laser and for this one it does 10 to 12 damage for the pulse gun um, weapons that are electromagnetic or um, or thermal they tend to have they don't do as much damage but they don't do uh, sort of left out I guess the average works out to be um, more reliable amounts of damage than the ballistic weapons but the ballistic weapons have a chance to do a ton of damage um, so they actually work out pretty well. This is a little bit of a problem with these guys. I'm pretty happy though. I'm faster than them by about 20. So I will be able to get away with from them if I want to. It depends on how big a group they're sitting in. 
and chances are they're going to come through this little door here so let's see what we can do here they come uh, medium battery there's our exit I'm pretty confident about destroying these guys so let's have a go move over a little bit just to stop myself from getting hit too much. Lost one flight unit. I know I've got one in my back pocket. Um, I think that guy is running away. Uh, let's see here. Now nah, he's lost all his weapons so I don't need to worry about him anymore. Let's shoot this other guy. Oh, looks like someone else is shooting at me too. Okay, we might need to pop in... That flight unit. Took him out. Um, pulse gun's pretty damaged. We might need to... Small lasers aren't great, but we might need to just pick it up just so that we've got a spare in case we lose stuff. And hopefully, whoever was shooting at me down the bottom, I've managed to lose him. Looks like I might have done. Terrain scanner. Mm. You know what? We've got a full kit. We've got full inventory. We're doing pretty well. Let's head to the next level. So before going to the next level, I usually like to have a look and see at what I have got. So down here. Ah, tractor beam. Yeah, yeah, that's still all right. Um, ideally, I would have had something better, but we've got two heat sinks. I tend to do propulsion and... Um, and weapons when I first kick off, but because I've got no propul like no extra propulsion units here, I think I might do weapons and oh, look, utility is always good. Um, I'll probably end up upgrading this uh, power in the next level. Oh, this is provided even I go to the next level. Here we go. All right, so let's go utility. We said and weapon. All right, continue. Now, there's about, I'm trying to only do about 20 minute videos, so there's about three minutes left here. I will go a little bit further into this level um, and we'll have to continue it on for next time. But let's have a look around and see what we can do. So we've got our um, new slots. Let's chuck in a weapon. Um, I will try out putting in the tractor beam. If it makes me go too slow, and it hasn't changed my speed, so I won't worry too much about that. Um, so let's keep on going. Small laser. Mm, hard light armor plating. I think that's probably better than a tractor beam. The only thing is, let's drop the tractor beam and have a look at our speed when we put this in. So that slowed us down mm, considerably. I think we'll... We will wear that um, for now. And I'm going to try to see if I can still get this schematic for the biomechanical wings. Come on. Ah. Okay, Trooper. We're not in a good position here. I normally wouldn't want to engage someone from this far back. Because the accuracy isn't as bad. The firefight lasts a bit longer and you end up getting damaged more. This is a really terrible place to wait. I'm pretty sure. Wait, let me check. That's X. This is a nuclear reactor that I'm sitting next to. If the guy that's chasing me at the moment ends up hitting that, it can explode. So let's just wait for him to come back. I'm just tapping wait just for now. It's possible that he didn't... No, he did see me. All right. Another really useful thing. So you can use, uh, I think it's F5 to F8 to change the information at the top in the middle here. One of the really useful ones is the calculation so that when you shoot, you can see when they hit and um, when you hit as well. So if, it, it kind of, I feel, takes a bit of that frustration away as to whether or not you're hitting, whether or not um, you're sort of making a difference. So we're just going to wait for him to come in. The reason why I'm staying so close to the door is that my hope is that I don't get flanked and hit by more than one guy. So there's one down. Lost the pulse gun. It's all right, we should be okay. I could equip the laser, but that will take time and they'll end up having another shot at me. 
before I get to have a, another go. I think we should be right. So there's a hit and a miss. And he's down. So let's get these together. Heat sink. Don't really need that. Um, my f Once I lose that flight unit, I'm going to be moving pretty slow. So I'm going to put this leg in my back pocket. And that's a healthier heat sink. So I'm going to pop him in as well. And we'll pop in our small laser as well. So moving 130, like I say, not ideal, but hello. Weapon shielding, light cannon. Cannon's cool. Um, let me pop one in. We'll pick it up, put it in my back pocket. Um, we'll take out this. We'll probably take out the small laser that's not very healthy and um, chuck in the light cannon um, light cannons are cool really cool so we've got a G, H, turn everything else off if I shoot at the wall I don't know if it will work with a light cannon no in the for cannons that have a little bit more um, I don't know damage to them they'll actually take out walls which is very helpful and maybe we just want to get two light cannons yeah, I think we probably do. So I'm going to drop this medium laser. Actually, I'll drop the small laser in my back pocket. We'll drop the medium laser. And we'll chuck in another light cannon. Uh, weapon shielding, yeah, that's good. Pretty heavy though. Um, but we're coming to the last bit of time. We've got a... Uh, Swarmer, just around the corner there. I imagine he'll have a bunch of friends, but look, let's see how it goes next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. See you later.